All right, welcome to another edition of MrCross.org. Um, this is a, a continuation of our formatting, and from here we're going to we've, we created a document basically with ligers and tigon. We got a couple headings. We messed with these styles a little bit. Now we're going to actually do some more advanced things. We're going to insert an image into this uh, document. You do that by going to the insert and then picture. Now here's one of the tricky things. Finding a picture that maybe you have saved is one of the most difficult things I think in computers right now because it's very difficult and there, there are so many images that you can actually get them lost. Saving them to the desktop or my documents is usually the easiest way to go so that you can find the picture later for retrieval. I saved a picture into the pictures library and I have a picture of ligers and I'm going to insert that by just highlighting it and saying insert. Now I have my image on the page and I'm loving this. Notice though now I not only have my file home insert, page layout, references, mailings, review, view, but I also have this picture tools format. And the minute I inserted my picture now I've got a whole bunch of tools. And if you play around with them like the styles I can get a nice little border, I can make it a round image, I can add some picture effects like shadow or soft edges. This is always a really nice uh, way of going. Soft edges works with that. You can see it kind of made the image blend into the page. Um, while you have an image, you can shrink it by grabbing the handles. Um, notice though that the way the, the text wraps around it. I've got text here, but it stops right there. And this is what's called an inline version of text wrapping. So my, my text doesn't really wrap. It's considering this image to be a, a letter or a character. And that's not what we want to do. So I'm going to go back to my picture tools format. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to wrap text. And I want to tell it to either be square, tight, through, top, bottom, behind, or in front. And you can see each one of them does something different. What's nice in Office 2010 is that it shows you. It gives you a preview. If you just highlight it, you can actually see what it's doing. That's a very handy little thing. I'm going to use square. And then I'm going to move my image right where I want it. And now I've got this text wrapping around. If I want this next heading to drop down again, I just have to add an enter key so that it knows um, where to be. And now I have a beautiful picture. I've got some information. And I've got um, my headings still in place. And I did a nice little effect around my image. Um, for whatever reason, it is always defaulted in line with text. And that's always going to treat the image as if it's a character. It's never going to maybe. Um, format exactly like you want it until you use square or tight. If you want the text to go through it for some reason, maybe it's just a background image, you would do that. And if you do through, it actually, you can see the text goes over top of the image. That's a great background trick. Um, top and bottom would be if you want it centered and the information on the top and bottom. You never want the information to the side. Um, behind text, we already talked about that a little bit with the through and in front of text. Um, this is where you know I I don't use it a lot, but maybe you're more artistic and you can find ways to do it. You can also do this thing called edit wrap points, and you can actually create little points where you would like the text to wrap around. And you can see here it went all the way to his head. You can add another point in, and once you do that, you can you can kind of customize how it actually wraps. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go back and just do the square wrap. But that kind of gives you an idea of what you're doing. Inserting images is not real difficult. Um, I think you're going to find that you, it's easier than ever in Microsoft Office 2010. So I hope this helps you a little bit with inserting images into your documents.